Okay, I'm having bandwidth problems, so what I'm doing now is I am uh, recording. I'm going to try and upload this later. We're at the corner of Ward and Baritania, Occupy Honolulu, and uh, Cruz. I think you can see the city or state cruise, I think city cruise in the orange, have uh, put Bill 54 stickers on property. For instance, here's a fern plant. On everything. Which will allow them, uh, under the ordinance, to remove uh, the property after 24 hours. You can see uh, the paddles, which are a motif here at uh, Occupy Honolulu uh, to symbolize uh, the Kanawai Mamalahoi law of the splintered paddle, which allows people uh, to reside, lie by the roadside, undisturbed. The first law of Hawaii. Now this is the area where there previously was an encampment. In fact, uh, this area right here is where the encampment was. Uh, the police redrew the boundary to put this part of the sidewalk, which you can see connects the uh, ward sidewalk to the um, Baritania sidewalk. Police redrew um, the area to be within the park so that under the park rules it could be um, property could be seized and as it was in December 30th. We have uh, some signs here. Occupy Honolulu is definitely a political encampment. Most of the people here are not homeless and they actually, the ones that stay here, stay here uh, as kind of a political purpose. And again, we can see the uh, paddle. I'm going to try and get a better view here. We can see some of the uh, stuff that was used, that is used, including food. I'm glad to see uh, some fruits and vegetables here. Here was a uh, public library. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over from the uh, Baritania side so we can get kind of a panorama of this. In the background, across the street, is the Honolulu Academy of Arts, which is the former residence of uh, Anna Rice Cook, who was married to Charles Montague Cook, one of the first land barons in Hawaii after the property was stolen from the Hawaiians. Now, Occupy Honolulu has solidarity with the native Hawaiians, Kanaka Maoli, um, through their General Assembly.
Uh, let me try and get the kind of the contrasting view. That's a former mansion of land barons, and this is the Occupy Honolulu encampment. The encampment itself, you'll notice, is right against the uh, road. And the reason for that is to protect it under the uh, provisions of the uh, Law of the Splintered Paddle, which was um, declared by the first king of all of Hawaii, Kamehameha, and uh, later incorporated into the state constitution. Let me walk uh, down and see what the deal is here. You'll see some policemen like this one center frame. Who is a uh, public affairs officers who are don't dress as policemen, they wear aloha shirts. Uh, I'm gonna try and cut this now and go uh, live. Uh, let me see if I have the bandwidth.